Thank you for staying with us, ABC News. The South Africa and Germany will continue cooperating and working together to improve bilateral relations. This comes after talks between President Cyril Ramaphosa and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. For more on this, we bring in SABC News political editor Mzwandi Lembeja together with our international news editor, Ms. Sophie Mugwena. Good afternoon, colleagues. the trade and investment between the two countries but also issues that are of international interest. Among them you can look at the issue of Ukraine. They really delved into the current challenges facing uh, the world with the war in Ukraine. The two leaders agreeing that uh, different countries have taken different positions but at the end of the day what is needed it's to ensure that all leaders around the world are encouraging and pushing the two countries to finally agree to a ceasefire. The president of South Africa pointing out that uh, indeed as leaders on the continent they have agreed that the chair of the African Union, the president of Senegal, President Makisal, and also the AU commission chair, uh, Commission Faki to go to Ukraine and also to Russia to speak to the two leaders with the aim of ensuring that peace does prevail. On the other hand, the Chancellor pointed out that uh, they have engaged as a European Union group to ensure that they put pressure on Russia in particular to agree to a ceasefire. They've imposed sanctions on Russia, but uh, countries are taking different positions in terms of how they can uh, implement decisions, particularly decision, 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 decisions that are related to the oil embargo. And also uh, today we know that the European Union will have a similar meeting to finalize the issue of the oil embargo. So I, in terms of trade and investment, clearly the two countries have agreed that the issue of just transition, moving to renewable energy, will be a priority. Absolutely, and uh, it's very interesting, I mean, the, the background that we've just laid, uh, you've basically told us that uh, it has just transpired that they agree actually on issues around trade and investment, but certainly on international ones, so you can see the standing poles apart. But what this means is that um, in terms of um, investing in each other's countries, uh, they, are, they stand ready to benefit from each other because, you know, we have coal and that's what the Germans want because they want to win themselves off the Russians. And here is the opportunity. And the fact that uh, they are going to launch this plant uh, does tell you that um, these two countries, when it comes to issue of renewable energy, of investment in each other's country, so it will really work and it is a priority. It's also, it's only the in area around the international issues where they really aren't agreeing. Uh, they may not say this here loudly, but I mean, you could hear. In fact, the German Chancellor, when she re he responded to you, he even decided to respond in English so that you could understand exactly what their position was. The other important issue is COVID-19. They did touch on a vaccine, manufacturing of vaccine, but also getting a market for countries such as South Africa uh, to be able to capacitate the continent on manufacturing of COVID-19 vaccines. Mm. Very important issue. Germany agreeing that it will support South Africa. Absolutely. And even if you look at his trip, uh, starting in Senegal, you know uh, that Senegal is really trying to be that hub as well. And of course, uh, South Africa's president saying hey, he really appreciates the uh, kind of assistance that Germany has been offering. And Germany is saying, well, we are here, we'll lend a, a, a helping hand. So clearly, those areas, does, uh, uh, it does appear that uh, when it comes to economic relations, so they are on a much better footing. So we just want to see this being implemented, not just being a talk shop. Uh, the final stop at uh, Sasol Company in Santon. It's quite in, uh, important uh, because that is at the core 
of the trip uh, of this uh, chancellor when it relates to trade and investment of, of course outside of the international area that we've speak, sp spoken about so that will uh, perhaps tell us what is it that has been achieved between these two countries in terms of their trade relations it has been a long day Mzai, and uh, very cold and uh, freezing yeah, and here we are still soldiering it's on done from union buildings you can join nompu uh, she will be giving you update in terms of the meeting in Sasol, uh, at the Sasol firm in Santon, the headquarters of Sasol. Uh, from me and Muzaim Beche, it's back to you in studio. Thank you so much to my colleagues, Muzaim um, Beche and uh, Ms. Sophie Mugwena out there at the Union Buildings.